Cynthia Ozick tells the story of a Jew who asked his rabbi why the shofar is blown through the narrow end and not the wide end. The rabbi answered, if you blow into the wide end, no sound will be heard. But if you blow through the narrow end, its sound will reach to the outer limits. Last night, as our early service was concluding, the world learned of the passing of Justice Ruth Bader Ginsburg. To behold Justice Ginsburg, slight of frame and soft-spoken, one might have imagined the shofar's narrow end. She was anything but. A tireless champion for equality before the law, following her pioneering career as a litigator in the fight for women's rights, Justice Ginsburg would serve on the United States Court of Appeals for the District of Columbia and then become only the second woman appointed to the Supreme Court of the United States, before which in her earlier years she had argued with great success. During her 27 years on the High Court, Justice Ginsburg often found herself in the minority and so authored many powerful dissenting opinions. She viewed these as critical, as echoing beyond the moment. Dissents speak to a future age, she explained. The greatest dissents do become court opinions, and gradually over time their views become the dominant view. So that's the dissenters' hope, that they are writing not for today, but for tomorrow. Justice Ginsburg was as fearless a fighter against the ills of society as she was against her own illnesses, which ultimately took her from us. Our congregation was privileged to have her speak on this bima four years ago. Asked how she would like to be remembered, Justice Ginsburg once responded, as someone who used whatever talent she had to do her work to the very best of her ability and to help repair tears in her society, to make things a little better through the use of whatever ability she has, to do something outside myself. That Justice Ginsburg surely accomplished, and her shofar voice echoes today as it will tomorrow to the outer limits.